All right, good morning. Welcome back to episode nine of season one of the Big Ski Family. We are in Big Sky, Montana, but we were in... Jackson Hole. Baby. Which I think was the family's favorite so far for the whole trip. By far. Jackson yeah. Hole is off the hook skiing and our experience was made so unique and so special by a couple things. We stayed with some friends. Yes, Glenn and Alina and their children and their friends. And right at the base of Jackson Hole. Swiss, made in Switzerland, made in Switzerland. out of premium Jersey or Holstein, I don't know, kept out of high. We got there and it was, t it was negative 10 degrees at the bottom of the hill. It was a bluebird day. These guys got first tram. Going first tram. Up. They had hired a guide to take them to all the stash, and it was Unbelievable. incredible. Unbelievable. We had this private guy, John Danforth, yeah, who, who Glenn had arranged to like show us the whole mountain, and he just took us from one place to the other. Klein, this will probably be the best gong of the day. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Yeah, and it was so cold that I've never experienced this before, but the, the condensation in the air made like a pixie dust mist. Yes. And it was just like sparkling everywhere. <laughs> and I was just like, what is going on? Like, it was just... It was surreal. Beautiful. That evening, going back to their house, they have a pool and a jacuzzi that's a part of the association where they're at, and we got to swim.
so many special things, but there was crazy wildlife there. And when we were there, the kids saw... We saw two moose, moose. sitting on the ski run. A flock of moose in, in the woods. And, and yeah. then we came back to our van and the moose had just like licked everything off the windows. Licked the whole side of it. I guess they wanted the mineral salt from the uh, car, but that was Yeah, fun. moose car wash, that was really fun. We took the entire family up the tram, which is again, expert terrain only. And we had to go experience Corbett's cabin. See the tram, Cordy? Yeah. First time ever. You and about 100 of your best buddies are gonna get jammed in there. You excited? Yeah. Then we're gonna see some steeps. You ready for that? Yeah. Cordy, what do you think? This is really cool. This is really cool, isn't it? Is it amazing? You see the Buck and Bronco on the side? It's pretty awesome, huh? You feeling like a Buck and Bronco ride? <laughs> You're digging. It's right there on top. You having fun? Yeah. First tram ride. Yeah, so good. They are. Look at all these guys, just big old crazy grins on their faces. Look who's got a front row view up there. How you doing, Cord? Corbett's Cabin, they serve waffles. waffles. Waffles at the top. We missed, they had closed down the waffles, but they gave us little samplers and we visited with all the people up there. So you're all in this little tiny cozy cabin. <laughs> And then we had some hot cocoa. And the two cups of hot cocoa ended up on two of the suits, like down the whole thing. That evening we headed into town and yeah. the town of Jackson's a little bit away from Teton Village, but went in town and you guys, anybody that's been to Jackson, you know those famous arches with all the antlers and the white lights ice skating rink, music playing in the town square. because they had made such fun memories there. I got my Buffalo Hide Montana hat. Oh yeah. Which is my souvenir. <laughs> so Janice. Anyway, different. Got a little long sleeve t-shirt with the Jackson Hole logo. The following day, we were getting packed up to go and it was just, it was another beautiful day. So myself and some of the kids went back over there and we hadn't been to Corbett's yet. Let's go. You got this? Woo! Go! just it was really fun to go Baylor went first and showed me the way and what kind of what not to do because it's a little tricky I was able to get a little more speed and get into there anyways it was a blast and then that day we took off and headed north yeah. to Big Sky <laughs> And 
we actually stayed here in West Yellowstone, which is about an hour south. Most people see in Bozeman, and I can kind of see why, because West Yellowstone's a little remote. Uh, Big Sky's been amazing. Yes. The house, I just wanted to say, there was kind of two separate houses, and they have this basketball hoop that's outside, and kids are just like draining the baskets, working on their basketball skills, so that was a lot of fun. Oh, coming in from the back with the curry. Oh, oh. Check this out, guys. It's a conveyor belt. So you just hop right on here, make sure you keep your skis between the lines, and then you get dumped off back on snow. And you get to load this baby. Here it comes. And heated seats for days. The art, what do you think, guys? Amazing. Welcome to Big Sky. So good. And this mountain is so vast. It takes 6, literally 6,000 acres. Yeah, which yeah. is like double the size of a, yeah. of a Jackson Hole, for example, as far as skiable terrain. And Jackson is a big mountain. We forgot about being stuck in the snow in Big Sky. And our three guardian angels that came yes. and helped us. Yesterday, getting out was, I mean, dumpage. We had over a foot of snow here in the road. They had bermed up a big berm on the end of our road, and we were trying to rip through it and get out, and I got stuck in the van. Poor driving on my part, to be honest with you. messaged us on Instagram and these guys are the real deal. One of them was like an eight time hill climbing champion. I mean, they're, they're just like world famous, apparently uh, sled operators. One of the days we went down to uh, a movie called the Backcountry Film Festival and it was just playing in the little Lone Peak theater, cinema there yeah. and small little theater, but uh, sold, sold out, out yeah. packed out and, and it was so fun. Took the whole family in and it was all about self-powered adventure in the outdoors. As we were walking across the parking lot, it was so fun. Someone yells my name, Chad, and I turned. Yes. It was Eric Lipton. And Eric Lipton is one of the PSI demo team, national team members, um, one of 12 in the country. You met Brian Smith on one of our other videos, I think, that we talked about. But Eric is a um, the ed instructional editor for Ski Magazine. At the end of our time here, um, you surprised me with a day we went to Lone Mountain Ranch. for a sleigh ride.
tempest. It's brisk. Yes. Perfect weather for a sleigh ride together with you and about 40 of our closest friends. <laughs> yeah. We are going to uh, be heading back to Ben for a short stint and I uh, can't wait to talk to you from there. Please feel free to share and subscribe if you haven't. Anyways, have a blessed day. Thanks. See you next Take week. Take care. Bye-bye.